Science Center, the 1991 Miss Teen USA pageant. Did you see those guys on the beach? Oh my God, to die for it. Total hunk alert. I love summer. Starring 51 of the most outstanding teenagers in the USA. Fun, fun, fun. Tonight is going to be the best yet. The party of the year. Let's do it. The 1991 Miss Teen USA pageant with your host, Dick Clark. Co-host, Lisa Gibbons. Special commentator, Miss Teen USA 1985, Kelly Poo. The rating, Miss Teen USA, Bridget Wilson. And the Mississippi Gulf Coast Teen Orchestra and Chorus. And now, here are the 51 contestants for the title of Miss Teen USA Thank you, ladies, very much. That was a lot of summer fun for all of us. You look great. That's a real good start. Now, the Miss Teen USA pageant is very happy to be back for a second year on the beautiful Mississippi Gulf Coast, and uh, it's nice to be home. Thank you so much. We really appreciate being here. Good food, too, huh? Woo. We do have to apologize, though, to all the Mississippians. We turned loose our cast and crew of several hundred people loose here on Biloxi, and the Fried catfish is now an endangered species. We will try to make that up to you, however, with a lot of fun and excitement here tonight. And to help me host the festivities from entertainment tonight, please welcome Miss Lisa Gibbons. <laughs> Everybody. It's nice to see you again. Thanks, and you too, Dick. Now, I caught on right away. We're celebrating kind of a summer fun thing, is that right? It suddenly dawned on yeah, you, right? Yeah, well, I'm it's bright like that. What you don't realize <laughs> is this is the last big summer fun party before we all go back to school and hit the books, right? Hey! Oh, great. Oh, thanks for bringing Come that up, on. Dick. You don't realize they told me they would rather not party. They would rather go back to school. True, really. And, and you told, and you bought into that, Dick? No, no, no. Would they lie to me? It's a real good thing I'm here to straighten <laughs> you out, because, see... I've got the stuff on you ladies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And as usual, you impart all of that information from high up above? Yes, I'll be right up there. Best seats in the house, I think, Dick, except for you judges, of course. I'll be up there with Kelly Who, Miss Teen USA 1985, and we'll keep our television audience posted on all the scores. We've got the dish and the backstage stories, you name it, we got it. Say what we do. We will harness all of this teenage action and activity and get to it right now. Okay, good luck to each of you. Good luck, Dick, keeping up with them. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Lisa Gibbons, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you later. Now, we're going to give you an opportunity to meet the candidates in the traditional parade of states. Now, this past week, our judges have scored contestants in three preliminary events. The swimsuit competition, in which the girls modeled identical suits. The evening gown competition, where the ladies wore gowns of their own choice. And the interview competition, where each judge talked one-on-one -on -one with every candidate. Now, the scores from these three preliminary competitions carry equal weight in determining our 12 semifinalists. Now, you'll see these scores coming up now in our parade of states, along with a visual reminder of how the contestants looked in the preliminaries, modeling their swimsuits by Catalina Juniors and wearing their evening gowns. 
Now, let's meet them all, region by region and state by state. Presenting the Miss Teen USA Parade of States, starting with contestants from the Midwest, Miss Missouri. Hello, everybody from Sykeston in the Show Me State of Missouri. I'm Audra Sherman. Miss Iowa. From Fort Madison, Iowa, where all our fields are fields of dreams, I am Tina Ferry. Miss Nebraska. Go Big Red from Omaha in the Cornhusker State. Miss Wisconsin. America's dairy land is where I'm from. Representing the great badge state of Wisconsin, I'm Pamela Schrader. Miss Minnesota. I hail from the land of 10,000 lakes. From Arden Hills, Minnesota, I'm Natasha Granowski. Miss North Dakota. I come from the beautiful Peace Garden State. From Grand Forks, North Dakota, I'm Nikki Elkins. Miss Illinois. From Champaign, Illinois, home of the Fighting Illini and the land of Lincoln, I am Kara Klein. Miss Michigan. From Chelsea, Michigan, the state of the Motor City and Motown Sound. My name is Lori K. Hanbaugh. Miss Kansas. From our Kansas City, Kansas, there's no place like home. I am Denise Blatchford. Miss South Dakota. I represent South Dakota, home of Mount Rushmore and the beautiful Black Hills. From Mobridge, I'm Tabitha Mount. Miss Ohio. Home of the world champion, Cincinnati Reds. From Huber Heights, I am Michelle. Miss Indiana. Newburgh, Indiana is where I live from the heart of Hoosier country. I'm Heather Hart. And now the contestants from the South. First, Miss North Carolina. I'm Tar Hill born and I'm Tar Hill bred. From Boone, North Carolina, I'm Holly Furman. Miss District of Columbia. From the District of Columbia, where I'm out of ways, justice for all. I'm Marja Allen. Miss Tennessee. From Memphis, Tennessee, the city that Elvis called home. Ha, huh, I'm Tris Kelly Sack. Miss Arkansas. From Cabot, Arkansas, where the people rule. I'm proud to be a Razorback. Hi, I'm Paula Montgomery. Miss Texas. The Lone Star State is where I call home. From Houston, Texas, I'm Kara Williams. Miss Florida. Florida, home of Storm and Norman Shores Pop and the world's most beautiful beaches. From Panama City, I'm Marnie West. Miss Oklahoma. A Boomer Center, through and through. From Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, I'm Rachel Childers. Miss Maryland. Annapolis, Maryland, home to United States Naval County is my home, too. I'm Jennifer Wilhoy. Miss Kentucky. Louisville's my old Kentucky home. From the land of the bluegrass and fast horses, I'm Christine Jackman. Miss West Virginia. From Weston, West Virginia, the Mountain State, where mountaineers are always free, I Tracy Rexrode. Miss Mississippi. From Ivory, Mississippi, the land of hospitality and old world charm, I am Jimmy Anglian. Miss Louisiana. I hail from Louisiana, home of Mardi Gras and Cajun cooking. From Baton Rouge, I'm Allison McIntyre. Miss Alabama. I hail from the Camellia State, deep in the heart of Dixie, from Huntsville, Alabama, I am Stephanie Gwaltney. Miss Georgia. My home will be host to the world in the 1996 Summer Olympics from Cairo. Miss Virginia. Hello, everyone from the state of Virginia, birthplace of eight presidents. I am Linda Overhue. Miss South Carolina. From prosperity, I'm proud to be in Valencia, representing the Palmetto State, South Carolina. My name is Penny Bowers. Miss Delaware. Delaware, the first state of liberty and independence is where I live. From Hope Gaston, I'm Michelle Dalton. And now the contestants from the Northeast. And here is Miss Vermont. From the Green Mountain State of Vermont, from Newport, I am Anne Marie Giroux. Miss Pennsylvania. I'm from Pennsylvania, the state of the Liberty Bell and Brotherly Love. From New Brighton, I'm Kimberly Parkin. Miss New York. From Niagara Falls to New York City, I love New York. From Rochester, I'm Wendy Cooper. Miss New Hampshire. Live free or die is our motto. From Manchester, New Hampshire, I am Janelle Bishop. Miss Massachusetts. Massachusetts, land of the Pilgrims and Red Sox is my home. From Longmeadow, I'm Erin Bartlett. Miss Maine. From Gardner, Maine, the state where presidents vacation. I'm Carrie Melanowski. Miss Connecticut. I hail from Connecticut, the proud home of the United States Coast Guard. From Richfield, I'm Allison Benusis. Miss New Jersey. I'm representing the Garden State of New Jersey, birthplace of the Port. 
Boardwalk from Linwood, I'm Carrie Pars. Miss Rhode Island. I hail from Bristol, Rhode Island, the Ocean State. I am Gina Tonioni. The contestants from the Northwest, Miss Montana. Big Sky Country is my home. From Missoula, Montana, I'm Teresa Rosenbaum. Miss Washington. From Edmonds, Washington, the land of majestic mountains and desert plains, I'm Elizabeth Lee. Miss Idaho. The capital city of Blake is my home. From the gem state of Idaho, I'm Angelina Madry. Miss Oregon. From Garibaldi, Oregon, land of Crater Lake and the Cascades Wilderness, I'm Delilah Anderson. Miss Alaska. To the lower 48th, I bring greetings from fabulous Alaska. From Eagle River, I'm Stacy Stewart. Miss Wyoming. Cowboy country is where I call home. From Sheridan, Wyoming, my name is Britta Lund. And now, the contestants from the Southwest. Here's Miss Colorado. From the Mile High City of Denver, Colorado, I am Kiki Morikal. Miss California. From California, the land of lights, cameras, and all the action, I'm Jolene Dubner. Miss New Mexico. My home, the land of enchantment, from Albuquerque, New Mexico, I'm Kimberly Albadaca. Miss Nevada. Las Vegas, Nevada, the fastest growing city in America, is where I'm from. My name is Brooke Hammond. Miss Arizona. The Grand Canyon State of Arizona is my home. From Phoenix, I'm Christine Chula. Miss Hawaii. Aloha, everyone. From Kahului on the friendly islands of Hawaii, I am Trini Ann Kaopuiki. Miss Utah. I hail from Logan, Utah, the state with the greatest snow on earth. I am Corinne Peterson. There they are, ladies and gentlemen. When we come back, we'll reveal our 12 semifinalists. Today, there's a fresh outlook on beautiful. And it starts with CoverGirl Clean Makeup. It always goes on Noxzema Clean for a natural kind of beauty that's always good to your skin. Whatever the style, today, clean is the look. Because it doesn't look like makeup. It looks like great skin. CoverGirl, redefining beautiful. Kellogg's Fun Pack. Choosing one is half the fun. It's hard to decide. The new Tide is Ultra Tide. I know it sounds too good to be true, but it really works. Ultra small, ultra intensified. Yeah, I can't believe one little scoop of Tide can get this, this out. The sauce has gone into the braid. For cleaning deep down inside, new Tide is ultra powerful. One little scoop cleans down to the fiber itself. Even the braid's clean. Remarkable. The new Tide is Ultra Tide. You thinking you have laundry that's tougher? Try it. We're back live from Biloxi now, and welcome to our anchor booth position this evening overlooking all the action. Well, every year the pageant brings back a former winner to serve as a special commentator and give you the real insider's point of view. Tonight, we're happy to have as our expert Miss Teen USA 1985, actress Kelly Hu. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Lisa. How are you doing? Pretty good. Good evening, everyone. I'm really glad to have you back because, see, Kelly and I were up here last year and we had a great time and you always get the best backstage stories. Well, Lisa, it just so happens that my first backstage story is about you. <laughs> That's not fair now because we're on the same team. <laughs> right, no. Well, I hear that you and Steve are expecting a baby on Valentine's oh, Day. Oh, you're good. Yes, well, I guess this was a bit of a giveaway, wasn't oh, it? Oh, well, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. I'm hosting for two tonight. <laughs> yeah, we're real excited. Thanks, Kelly. All right, let's get to the real stuff now. You've been here for a couple of weeks, and you've really gotten to know these girls. Who are some of your favorites to, you know, stand out in the semifinals? Um, I think Miss Indiana has got just real star quality. Mm -hmm. Miss Rhode Island is just absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful girl. Um, 
Miss California is, she's got that real girl next door look, a real teen. Mm -hmm. And Miss North Dakota is just incredible on stage. Mm -hmm. So it really depends on which way the judges go. Yeah, there are a lot of standouts here tonight. Sounds there like sure a pep rally in here, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. We should remind you that the contestants and the judges cannot hear what we're saying in the anchor booth, so it will not influence the scoring. But right now, let's take a look at the top scores in the preliminary competitions, which have been going on for this past week. We see in swimsuit competition, Miss Louisiana out in front. Wow, it's very closely followed by Miss Kansas. There's Miss New Hampshire in third place. For interviews, Miss Indiana took it. A really high score. Miss New Hampshire again in second place this time. Miss North Carolina in third place for interview. And in evening gown competition, it's Miss Oklahoma, Indiana. Once again, competing strongly already. And Miss Georgia. All right, you've also been polling the contestants to find out who they think will win. What do they have to say, Kelly? Well, the girls agreed with me on Miss Indiana and Miss North Dakota, but they also like Miss Louisiana. They think she's going to do very well. And I guess they are the real insiders, aren't they? They sure are. All right, folks, you've heard the backstage buzz. Now let's go to Dick and find out who the judges have chosen as those 12 semifinalists. Welcome back to uh, 51 of the most nervous teenagers in the whole country at this point. You ready? Shall we? All right. This is the fateful moment when we've got to narrow the field to 12 semi-finalists. Later this evening, we'll choose six finalists from this dozen, then narrow it down to the final three before we choose the new Miss Teen USA. Now, in the Parade of States, you saw each candidate scores in the three preliminary competitions, swimsuits, interviews, and evening gowns. And uh, let me pick up the results now, if I may. Thank you, Mark. Now we've added and we've averaged these scores for composite scores, which you'll see on your screen. The 12 highest scores determine our semifinalists. And ladies, if you're ready, I'm going to read these in random order. There's no significance to this order. The 12 semifinalists are Miss New Hampshire. <laughs> Oklahoma! <laughs> Miss Indiana! <laughs> Miss Texas! Miss Georgia. <laughs> Miss Rhode Island. Six more candidates, one of whom is Miss North Dakota. Miss Louisiana. Massachusetts. Three names remain, one of which is Miss Kansas. Two left, Miss North Carolina. <laughs> One name remains, Miss Missouri.
gentlemen, the 12 semifinalists for the title of Miss Teen USA 1991. Great. Such incredible happiness. Great faces when they announce oh, those yeah. names. I love it. I guess you can hear there are friends and family from all over the country to cheer on their favorites. By the way, the composite scores you saw have now been erased. Those 12 semifinalists begin tonight's competition anew, each of them on equal footing. And our television audience will see everything the judges see tonight live to determine the winner. All right, Kelly, swimsuit competition is coming up next. Why don't you give us a bit of a preview here? Right. I just love what some of these girls have done to prepare. Miss Rhode Island, who won Miss Photogenic, by the way, as beautiful as she is, her state pageant director told her that she had a funny walk. Oh, no. So, so she put on her high heels, and she walked up and down that neighborhood bike path to practice. <laughs> I wonder how many accidents that caused. Oh, that's great. Right. Well, Miss Indiana, who's the tallest girl in the pageant, she stands close to six feet, has quite an advantage in this part of the competition. She also worked out three hours a day since April. Oh my gosh, good for her. She really seems to want this. A lot of them are just very, very focused. Right. I guess, of course, that Miss Louisiana is the one to be here because she was first in the preliminary swimsuit competition. Right. She's got a great figure. Kelly, they all have a great figure. We <laughs> like them anyway. All right, stay tuned. We'll be back with that swimsuit competition right after this. My best friend and I went out last night with our brand new perms. Well, she had gone to the salon and spent way too much money. And I had gotten an Ogilvy home perm. People kept coming up to me and saying, Oh, your hair is gorgeous. Is it naturally curly? But nobody really said anything to her. The Precisely Right Home Perm by Ogilvy. It's got automatic shut-off timing. I couldn't have overdone it. I couldn't have underdone it. I couldn't get it wrong. I really, really made a right choice. I'm glad I didn't go with her to the salon. <laughs> Having trouble getting all your liquid dishwasher detergent out of the bottle? Relax. Try new Cascade Liquid Gel. It comes out of the bottle like it should. First time, every time. And because it's pre-dissolved, it rinses away to leave your dishes sparkling. Virtually spotless. New Cascade Liquid Gel. You better sit down for this. The tampon you probably used was designed by a man, a half century century ago. To absorb, it grows longer and longer. You better sit down. A woman, a doctor, designed a tampon that expands all around it, fit better, and prevent fluid from going by. It's OB. You can stand up for it. Oh, and there's no applicator to stand in the way in the environment. OB. You can stand up for it. Uncover a new you every day. Camay in three revealing fragrances. Classic, soft, romantic. Natural, fresh, free-spirited. Flare, sexy, surprising. For petal soft, scented skin, the Camay collection. What will you uncover today? Here's a great haircut. Oh, yeah. Picture my interview. There's Stark White Offices, my new dress, a new cut. Well, picture this. There you are in their Stark White Offices with your Stark White Flakes. Dandruff? Itty bitty fashion no no. And I shampoo every day. Yeah, but with a regular shampoo. Try this. Head and shoulders. I use it. Yeah, but you don't have dandruff. Bingo. <laughs> Head and shoulders, because you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Sweating bullets tonight on CBS Late Night. It's too hot to sleep. We're back in the Mississippi Gulf Coast Coliseum, and it's time now to introduce a very uh, important people to you, nine of them to be exact. Our distinguished panel of judges and audience, if you will, please hold your applause until the end. Our first judge is the award-winning show business correspondent for CBS This Morning. He also co-hosts the newly syndicated entertainment series Studio 22. This is Steve Kometko, and an honor student at the University of Mississippi. She's a model and actress, has appeared in uh, music videos with such hit groups as ZZ Top, Miss Teen USA 1987. 
She's Mississippi's own Christy Lynn Addis. He writes, co-produces, and stars as both the classic comic book superhero Superboy and his alter ego Clark Kent on the syndicated series The Adventures of Superboy. He's Gerard Christopher, author and a ballerina with the famed New York City Ballet for 11 years. Her articles on dance appear in such national publications as Mirabella and the New York Times. She's Tony Bentley, founder and director of the Raylock Group Talent Management for the Children of Color Talent Agency. She casts some of television and film's most exciting young entertainers. She's Brooks Jackson. Currently the host of the popular TV series, The World Through Celebrities' Eyes. He's interviewed every star from Sophia Loren to Robin Williams. He's Paul Ryan. And she's been called a modern-day fairy godmother, CEO of the Starlight Foundation, dedicated to granting wishes to seriously ill children around the world. She's Carol Brown. And one of Hollywood's top casting directors, he's discovered new talent for dozens of blockbuster series like Dynasty and In the Heat of the Night. He's Ben Rubin. Loved by audiences everywhere is Betty Anderson on the television classic Father Knows Best. She continues to delight viewers as Gladys Peterson on the hit series Get a Life. Please welcome Eleanor Donahue. Ladies and gentlemen, these are our judges. During the evening, you'll be seeing scores on the screen, and we'd like to show you how the system works. It's similar to Olympic scoring. As each contestant competes, the judges enter a score ranging from 1.0 to 9.99 into their computer terminals. We'll show you the individual judge's name and score. The highest and lowest scores are eliminated, and the remaining scores are averaged, like this. After all three competitions are over, the three average scores for each contestant will be added, and the top six composite scores will determine the six finalists. Oh, and now it looks like they're about to begin, so let's go back to the stage. Thank you, Kelly, very much. You know, the Mississippi Gulf Coast has miles of beautiful beaches, and what better place to present 12 beautiful ladies? And now, as our semifinalists model competition swimsuits from Catalina Juniors and shoes by Frederico, we've asked each candidate to uh, tell us a little bit more about herself. And here they are, in the 1991 Miss Teen USA Swimsuit Competition, beginning with Miss New Hampshire. In 10 years, I hope to have a family of my own with a husband and a few children, and possibly a daycare center. Because I really like working with children, and this will give me one of the greatest opportunities, I think, to be with them just about every day of the week. Miss Oklahoma. This summer has been my best summer because in May I graduated and then I went on the, my senior class trip and um, it, we just had so much fun. We really got close and it was really special. And then of course now I'm here and I've been here for two weeks having the best time of my life and I've met 50 of the greatest girls and everybody's just so sweet. This is just all really awesome. Miss Indiana. The word that best describes me is discipline. And that's probably because, um, partly because my parents are very disciplined people and I've inherited it a lot. But also, it's just a special quality that I have that keeps me going and driven and keeps me dedicated to the things that I get involved with and putting forth 100% effort. Miss Texas. Well, this summer has been very exciting for me being here representing Texas, but next summer I plan to travel to Oxford University in London and take a few courses there and do some sightseeing. And they're two totally different experiences, but I think that is what makes a person well-rounded. Miss Georgia. The summer I've ever had was actually the one I'm enjoying now. I just graduated from high school and I've had the chance to go on a senior cruise and that was a lot of fun. A ship full of th over a thousand seniors in the Bahamas, so that was a lot of fun. And also I'm representing Georgia in this Team USA pageant, so it's really a great experience for me. Miss Rhode Island. When I'm not in school, in the summertime, I love to water ski and jet ski and just spend a lot of time on the Narragansett Bay. I live right on the water. And in the wintertime, I like to snow ski and ice skate. I'm a real athletic person.
Miss North Dakota. I see my life in 10 years full of excitement. I love the city of Chicago, so I want to plan to move there, and I'll be done with med school, so I will be working as a physician, and I'll be working for my favorite NBA team, the Chicago Bulls. I mean, it's my all-time dream. Miss Louisiana. My idea of fun is spending time with my friends and family at our camp located on the Tanchmahoe River. It's a place where we can just relax and have fun. And we ski, hydro slide, swim. But the best part of it is we go out to the lighthouse and jump off into the water. And let me tell you, that's a blast. Miss Massachusetts. My favorite way to spend the day would be in Boston at a place called Quincy Market. It's right on the waterfront with a bunch of food booths and restaurants, stores and boutiques, and I would eat and shop my way from one end of the square to the other, and to top the day off, I'd head over to Fenway Park and cheer on my Red Sox. Miss Kansas. My idea of fun is spending time at the lake, and my family would all pile into a boat and we'd zoom around the lake, we'd water ski, we'd camp out on an island. Often we'd build huge bonfires, we'd even go back to our campsite and zoom around on our mopeds, and we'd eat s'mores. S'mores was our family recipe. Every night we would have s'mores. Miss North Carolina. My family's wonderful. Um, we have a really strong emphasis on family. We're all very encouraging to each other. But I think the epitome of it all is my grandparents' marriage that last, has lasted 72 years. Miss Missouri. Hand and skydived, and that is the most amazing thing I have ever done. I never thought I would do something like that because here I am, the biggest chicken when it comes to heights. Uh, on my cheerleading squad, they decided to put me up in a basket toss, and I was scared out of my mind. Yet I'm jumping out of planes all the time now. It just doesn't make sense. That completes our swimsuit competition for Miss Teen USA 1991. Miles of legs. I know they work out and I'm sure that helps, but I gotta figure they started out with some pretty good genetic material too. Let's check the scores for you now in the swimsuit competition. Out in front, as she led in the preliminaries, is Miss Louisiana, followed by Miss North Carolina, Miss New Hampshire, and here's how the rest of our semi-finalists stacked up in swimsuit competition this evening. All right, the interview competition will begin in a few moments, and while the girls are changing into their after-five dresses, come on along for some summer fun on the Mississippi Gulf Coast with our contestants. Fun, fun, fun. The girls loved Mississippi's beautiful beaches. All those miles of white sand, they can really dig it. Gulf waters are a great playground. Ahoy, contestants! The girls had a great time with Drew Johnson, the Muscular Dystrophy Association's poster child. The new Miss Teen USA will make one of her first official appearances with Jerry Lewis and me on MDA's annual Labor Day telethon. Their Catalina Jr. sportswear was perfect for flying high. Later, they waved with the waves one for the one, two for the show. and learned some ancient tribal dances from the 50s. <laughs> There's always
always time for a smile and an autograph. Ingalls Shipbuilding invited the girls aboard its newest ship, the Way City, the first warship named after a battle in Vietnam. And welcome aboard the Navy's newest guided missile cruiser, Way City. Please meet some of our sailors. Each girl met a sailor from her home state. And these young Navy men were great hosts. I understand you all are looking for a crown? Yes! Let me see if I can help. Combat pilot house, do you hold a crown on the uh, radar? Roger Bridge, this is combat. We have the crown in sight, 203 nautical miles from Biloxi, Mississippi. There it is, girl. Mississippi Retardation Center, the girls met some special new friends and learned a new song. I will call the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. The athletes in the group hit the bricks for a 5K run. While our more sedate ladies decided to work out lifting some tropical fruit juice in a toast to the beautiful Gulf Sunset. <laughs> Every contested scrapbook is filled with memories that will last as long as Mississippi's famous Friendship Oak. <laughs> The girls have had a great couple of weeks here. In fact, we all have. I'm even bringing my accent back. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> all right, the interview competition is coming up next. I think this is probably the toughest part of the semifinal competition. Who are your favorites, Kelly? Well, Miss New Hampshire is just, she is the champion marathon talker of the Pantheon. Isn't she? <laughs> and she plays second. So I think she's going to do very well. I'm sure she will. Of course, Miss Indiana plays first, so she's got to be a top prospect tonight. Right. And Miss Texas uh, will do very well. She had a year's experience as Miss Texas team mm -hmm. um, doing public appearances and whatnot throughout her state. You just expect Texans to be good talkers. It's part of their package, you <laughs> right. know? Right. had a good conversation with her backstage right before the show, as a matter of fact. So she's very confident. Also, you know, Miss Georgia, before the show went on, she was actually studying possible questions in her for her interview competition. No. So she was kind of cramming a little right. bit. Right, prepared. It's going to be a good contest, and we'll meet the first six semifinalists up close and personal in the interview competition right after this word from Crest. In simpler times, toothpaste came in tubes. Though easy to squeeze, they could get messy. Along came pipes. People liked the control, but missed the squeezy. Now, with much fanfare, Crest introduces Neat Squeeze. Easily squeezable with the control of a pump and a pullback feature that makes brushing a lot less messy and a lot more fun. The all-new Neat Squeeze from Crest. Steady. Bum, 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 bum. Good. What makes you different can make you beautiful. Clarion Lash Multiplier Mascara. Say your lashes are on the thin side, this is what you use. Curved brush, thickening formula, big lashes. Clarion Mascaras. I can't do that. Personalized to your lash type. Just check the computer. What makes you different can make you beautiful. I need a partner. The Miss Teen USA pageant will continue. Learn about roller coasters, human flies, high-rise daredevils, rhino beetles, luzhin, cuttlefish, grape catching, spinning llamas, fat penguins, stun penguins, the inside secrets of Air Force One, happy couples, exotic creatures, and more. As host Merlin Olsen takes you on the fastest 30-minute ride of your life, it's a mind-blowing, thrill-seeking, death-defying, high-flying edition of an all-new Fantastic Facts Friday. How does a princess clean the house? From top to bottom. With the maid. Why clean? Move. How does a princess pay the bills? Get a loan? Get a husband. What's a bill? How does a princess deal with stress? Shopping. Shopping. <laughs> Chocolate. Princesses, Fridays this fall on CBS. Yes, I love you. Starring Connie Silica and Greg Evigan. They're stuck together in Paradise. A premiere movie September 15th. This is CBS. My daughter Wendy said to me, Dad, I think you've got to come up with some new kind of foods. Be different. Get on the cutting edge. She may be right. 
So I had an idea for a special chicken sandwich. Introducing Wendy's Chicken Cordon Bleu, a boneless breast of chicken, ham, Swiss cheese, grape poupon, and mayonnaise on a toasted Kaiser bun. That looks delicious. Hey, Dad, where are you? In the kitchen, on a cutting edge. Try the new Chicken Cordon Bleu sandwich at Wendy's for a limited time. How am I doing, honey? Because Albertsons has rock-bottom prices on every item, every day... I said straight, Mom! Your family food budget tends to buy just a little more. Perfect! Albertsons, it's your store. Watch 11 News at 10 after Miss Teen USA. Welcome back as we continue our semifinal competition with the interviews. Now, this is an opportunity to get to know the 12 young ladies a little bit better. Now, the interviews are unrehearsed, and the contestants are being judged on poise, intelligence, personality, and the content of their answers. I'll meet our first candidate. That's Miss New Hampshire. She's Janelle Bishop. She's 17 years old. She's the senior at West High School in uh, Manchester, where she plays on their state championship hockey, I beg your pardon, soccer team? Yes. You're missing soccer practice this week? Yes, I am missing it, and they're watching it right now, actually. Which is tougher, missing the soccer practice or going through all of this stuff? Um, probably going through all this stuff because a lot of work, rehearsals, a lot of work and everything. A lot of hours? Yeah, ev we're there all day, every day. You said, I think, in, in, in a biography I read somewhere that you hope someday to have a daycare center. What are you going to do? Yeah, I hope I um, wanted to be married and have a few children and then a daycare center because that will give me an opportunity to spend my days with my children and also be with the children that I love and I take care of other people's children. How many kids would you like to have? Oh, I don't know, maybe two or three. Not too many, but not too small. All right, now you're from New Hampshire, and you've been hanging out with all these Southern ladies here, and they've all been <laughs> trying to teach you a Southern dialect. Can, have they gotten through to you yet? Um, I think a little bit. Give me a little taste of Southern. Well, I wasn't fixing to say anything, but you ain't got a lick of sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's close. It was a nice try. Step, step over here. This is Miss New Hampshire. Next is Miss Oklahoma, Rachel Childers. She's 17 years old, a graduate of Grace Christian Academy, where she's a cheerleader, president of her class, a volunteer at a woman's clinic and counseling facility. Does that mean you're going to go into counseling as a career? Yes, I am. I plan to go in guidance and counseling as after I graduate. Why do you find it interesting? Well, I just love helping people, and um, it's really something that's in my heart. No. I love talking to people, and I really like to share part of me with them. Who do you turn to for advice? Well, I have to say my parents. They've been a great support in everything that I have done in my whole life, and they just support me in everything I do. You have good communications with the uh, people who are older than you are, you, specifically your parents? Yes, and my grandparents. I love them so much, and they're just so special to me. They, they are very supportive of me also. You think young people can learn from older people? Yes, I do. They oh. have a lot of wisdom. It's a good sign. Now, they told me to ask you this, and this is nothing that I've ever talked to you about in all the days we've been together, but you have a, a three-point strategy for anybody who wants to be in a beauty pageant. Can you divulge that secret <laughs> to anybody who wants to be in this sort of thing? Yes. Well, um, the girls, if I ever talk to any girls that want to be in pageants, I always tell them that um, to be themselves and be honest. And um, for the three things that really stand out to me is, one, somewhere in the world, there's going to be a girl who's prettier than you. Yeah. Somewhere in the world, there's going to be a girl who's more talented than you. Yeah. And somewhere in the world, there's going to be a girl who's a lot more smarter than you. Yeah. When you come down, when it all comes down to it, you just have to cross your fingers and pray she's not standing on stage next to you. <laughs> That's in the laps of the gods. Step over here for the judges, if you will. This is Miss Oklahoma. Let's meet Miss Indiana, Heather Hart, who's 18 years of age, an A student in high school, plans to attend the University of Evansville, where she's going to major in business administration and marketing. Let me ask you a question about marketing. Suppose you work for a boss who wanted you to market a product you didn't believe in. Uh -huh. What would you do? 
Well, first of all, I believe that you should always stand up for what you believe in and always make sure that you tell that person how you really feel because they have to know that, um, that you're the person that is working for them and you have to be the one to sell the product. And if you don't believe in it, how can you sell it? Would you be intimidated by the fact that he might fire you? No, I wouldn't. I always stand up for what I believe in. No matter what it means, even if it meant a job, I would do it. Oh, you're sort of a daring-do person. You're into mountain rappelling and uh, <laughs> wire walking. What is wire walking? Wire walking is um, where they stretch about 50 feet of wire above uh, about 50 feet in the air in trees, and you have to hold on for dear life and hope that you don't fall off and, uh, like, lean forward. And when you lean forward, you have to to balance yourself so that you don't fall backwards and end up on the ground on your rear end. And this is fun? <laughs> it's great. It's exciting. It's challenging. It's wonderful. And you like living on the edge? Yes, I do. All right, please step over here and wait for the judges to uh, give you a little bit of soaring there. This is Miss Indiana. <laughs> this is Miss Texas, Carol Williams. She's 18 years of age, an honor student and an education major at Baylor University who uh, would like to become a motivational speaker for young people. Now, this is just kind of silly, talking to somebody who's 18 years old. Why do you like to work with people your own age or younger? I don't know. It's just something I've always been interested in. I have a large family, and we are all pretty close in age. And we've always worked together our whole lives, and we really have given each other love and support and strength, inner strength. And that's why I'm here today, because of their help. Let me ask you a question that it was interesting to probably most of the people in this audience because they're older than you. What can older people learn from teenagers? Well, I think there's a lot to learn. I know that teenagers have so much to offer, and I think that in the 90s, a lot of, I think a lot of adults are really looking to the teens and realizing that they are our future. And so I think in the years to come, I think the world will really see the teens a lot more active and more things. Give me one quick answer. You're off into the future. You're going to get married. What do you look for in the right man? I look for someone who's a lot like my father, and he's real special to me, and he has humility, and he has a sense of humor, and I really think that's important. And he's also a very loving and caring man, and that keeps our family together, and it keeps us going. Thank you ever so much. Step over here for the judges, if you will. This is Miss Texas. Here's Miss Georgia, who's Meredith Young, 18 years old. She enjoys modeling, was named best all-around senior girl this year at Carroll High School. Carroll is the city of pickles. That's right. Is this true? That's exactly true. Is your high school mascot a pickle? No, our high school mascot is a syrup maker. <laughs> syrup maker? We are the number one most unusual name in the United States for high school football teams. <laughs> What are you, I mean, when you have a celebration, they pour syrup over the winning team instead of bottles of cold water or whatever? What's so funny, our mascot, we don't have a syrup costume, we have a chicken costume. So we wait, have wait, a wait, 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 let me, let me try to get this straight. You come from the pickle city and you got a chicken as a mascot and the syrup company sponsors the team. And they sell pickles also. <laughs> and where is this? Cairo. How many people live there? Around 10,000. All right, give our love to everybody there. Now, let's, you live in rural Georgia, uh, but you don't live on a farm? No, I don't. Did you ever spend any time on a farm? Actually, I haven't. It wasn't a, the greatest experience of my life. Tell me about it. Well, I figured that when I went to the farm that all the animals would gather around me like Snow White. Mm -hmm. Well, they didn't. <laughs> how, did, how did they treat you? The chickens tried to peck me, and the horses tried to bite me, and I stepped in something, and... <laughs> yeah, 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 that's, that's liable to happen on a farm. Did you leave immediately? Yes, I did. I went to the mall instead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Step over here for the judges. This is Miss Georgia. <laughs> Next, Miss Rhode Island, Gina Tonioni. She's 17 years of age, a certified scuba diver, loves to compose, would like to report her someday. Be a reporter. You are voted the most photogenic, and I can see why. You're working on your school uh, paper right now, and you've got some sort of a survey going on. What is it? Well, I plan to do the survey when I get back and, and start my senior year. I go to an all-girls school, mm -hmm. and so when we're bored and there's no guys around, we try to think of things to do, and so I have a wild imagination, and I thought of trying to survey the girls and find out how many boys they do see during the week other than their father or the janitor. And what will be the result of all of this when you find out it's few? 
Well, if it's real low, if it's like or below 50%, then I'm going to try to talk to the principal and have a little mixer. Not a dance, but just an opportunity for the boys' schools and co-ed schools to come in and talk to the girls and set up a date. Little suggestion there. All right. Who do you admire most in journalism? Barbara Walters. Why? Because she's made a real big name for herself. She's very successful. And whatever she does, she makes it look real easy. All right. Now, if you were going to interview me, I've been around for a thousand years, what would you ask me? I'd ask you, how do you stay so looking so young? <laughs> Hang around, good-looking ladies. Thank you very much. Please, please stand over here, if you would, please, for the judges. That's Miss Rhode Island. Thank you, ladies, very much. That completes our first six interviews. ladies. You know, they handled themselves so well, it's hard to believe that they are still in their teens. They were very funny. Oh, they were. They really were. I, I love the shot of Miss George's little sister asleep. Oh, <laughs> she did it so well. She wasn't too entertained, was she? Okay. Why don't you give us a prediction for the best interviews in the second group of six, Kelly? Well, um, Miss Kansas is coming up, and she's another one who has had had a year's experience um, as Miss Kansas teen, getting to do a lot of appearances around her state as well. Yeah, that confidence factor is real important. I saw her backstage. She was so cool. She was hobnobbing with the hairstylist and the makeup people. No problem. <laughs> you know, Miss North Carolina, of course, won the Miss Congeniality Award, and that usually indicates someone who will do well in the interview section. Right, and she's also fearless. I mean, this, well, this girl is an A student, but besides that, she is fearless. She had once jumped off a 45-foot cliff on a dare. Oh, right. No problem. Well, a simple interview shouldn't shake her up too much, then. Or Miss Missouri, for that matter. Remember, she's a tandem skydiver. Oh, right. We do have a bunch of daredevils. In this <laughs> All right. Interviews with the rest of them. Our semifinalists coming up right after this. Mmm. Is glade is van redno. Mmm. That looks yummy. It's nothing, honey. Nishta medina. Oh, Bolem lashes. Oh, baby, I love it when you lie to me. The new Tide with Bleach is Ultra. I've tried everything, but this gets the odor out of my laundry. Ultra small, ultra intensified. I can't believe the scoop is so small. You see these socks? They could walk out the door by themselves. And the odor? Oof. Only teamwork would be my number one important thing. Okay, thank you so much. This is Miss Massachusetts. If you'd step over there for the judges. Miss Massachusetts. Now, this is Miss Kansas. She's Denise Blanchford. She's 18 years old, an A student who'll be attending college in the fall, wants to be a nurse one of these days. Nursing, Denise, is not everything it's cracked up to be. This is tough work. I mean, it's, I mean, you have a strong constitution. It's not all glory. It's tough. That's right, and I knew I wanted to do it when I dissected a frog in biology class. Yeah, I mean, that's the downside, but I mean, uh, you're not, you don't have any illusions about this all going to be easy. Not at all. It, it's going to take patience, and there's a lot of stress in nursing. And I think I can handle the stress if you kind of use that energy and, and go with it and have fun. It's got to be I very... I love working with people. Very rewarding work, too. Now, <laughs> let me jump backwards in time. That's your future and your past. Your prom day, graduation day, was that memorable? It's very memorable, knowing that my class is very close and knowing that we were all going separate ways. I'm going to junior college, and I know a lot of my friends are going away, so I had to let go. Did and you get any pictures of the event? A ton. Yeah. Was <laughs> a it true ton. your dad followed you around every minute? Yes, he did. He followed me everywhere. On prom, in fact, he followed me everywhere, and it didn't tape. He didn't push record, so we didn't get anything from prom. <laughs> Is he here tonight? Yes, he is. He's, he's the man. Oh, he's the man hiding under the seat over there. Yes, sorry. Right. Hoping you're not recording tonight. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you so much. This is Miss Kansas. <laughs> Next is Miss North Carolina. This is Holly Furman, who's 18, uh, big pardon, 17 years of age. She's uh, an A student, won numerous awards for voice and piano. She is Miss Congeniality. That means all the other ladies uh, picked her. Now, you've been to Kenya, Zambia, Bangkok, Bangladesh. What are you doing there? Well, my father is a thoracic surgeon, which is on the heart and lungs. Mm -hmm. And we travel as a family to third world countries um, about once a year since I was five in order to help out um, 
the mission hospitals there, and because there's no age limit on how old you have to be to get into the hospitals, I've been able to go into the hospitals and help deliver babies and cut off legs and all that good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all that good stuff. I mean, you, you can really handle it. Well, sometimes I get a little sick, but I'm working on it. <laughs> What's this going to mean for your future? Are you going to follow that line of work? As a matter of fact, um, I would like to share some of myself and um, with the other people in Kenya, possibly, there's a mission school there that I'd like to teach as elementary education. All right, let's assume for the moment that you were going to go to work in Africa and you fell in love with a guy in Atlanta, Georgia. How would that affect your future? Well, I really want to take what my husband has to say into consideration if I ended up marrying him. Um, I would want it I hope so. Be, I'd want it to be a joint effort, not just my own, because then it wouldn't be, we wouldn't both be happy. But I think that if he was willing to go, then maybe we could go for a couple years and see what the Lord has in store for us. Sounds good. Would you step over there for the judges, please? This is Miss North Carolina. And finally, we have Miss Missouri, Audra Sherman, who's 18 years of age. She's the recipient of a scholarship to Southwest Missouri State University, a major in communications. And uh, you want to get a degree in communications? What would you like eventually to do? Well, I have a really long, drawn-out plan, so bear with me, okay? Right. Okay, first I'd like to get my speech and communications degree because I'm really interested in communication just in general. And then I'd like to get a law degree because that would develop my analytical thinking. And then I would like to be a lobbyist for the healthcare industry. What I'd like to do is really work with the elderly healthcare because doing appearances this past summer, I went to several nursing homes, and I was just touched at the way the elderly people, I mean, they just wanted... They just wanted to be touched, you know what I mean? And it means so much to them. And that really touched my heart. Did and you pick up anything off the older generation? Yes. My philosophy on life, as a matter of fact, don't sweat the small stuff. Wait a minute. You're, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. You're not tall of stature. Don't sweat the small stuff? Well, it doesn't mean what you think it does. Okay, let me explain that one to you. <laughs> do. <laughs> you're like, Please Quickly. Do. Okay. <laughs> don't sweat the small stuff means just think about the important things in life. And, I mean, the really important things are really few when you think about it. Enjoy everything. And don't get stressed out about the little things. Thank you very much. Please step over here for the judges. This is Miss Missouri. Thank you, ladies, and that completes our interview competition for Miss Teen USA 1991. These girls are doing it. I tell you what, I interview people every day and they are cool. The shots of the parents show you they're the ones who are carrying all the nerves tonight. Let's turn to the monitor. We'll check a look, take a look, see how our judges scored them. Miss Missouri out in front, followed very closely by Miss North Carolina, Miss North Dakota. In fact, all the scores are way up there for the interview category, and well, they should be. The girls did a fine job with it tonight. Remember, these scores carry equal weight with the scores from swimsuits and evening gowns in determining the six girls who will go on to the finals. Now, coming up, more teen summer fun as the contestants put on their dance and shoes for a live musical number. That's right after this word from Vidal Sassoon. Radical rethink from Vidal Sassoon. New air spray. It's the first hairspray that works like an aerosol, but with pure air instead of chemical propellants. So it's better for the environment. Just pump air in and spray out a super fine mist for a professional hold, hold, hold. Try new Vidal Sassoon air spray. There's even a refill. A radical rethink from Vidal Sassoon. Air spray. Pure air, pure home. seen lips like these before because you've never seen lip color like this lip advance from covergirl it looks different it lasts different the cream powder color clings the top coat's lush and moist so lip advance lasts yeah. and lasts and lasts how much longer sure. and lasts lip advance lip color covergirl redefining beautiful When what you eat and drink upsets your stomach, you want a medicine that works directly on your stomach itself. Pepto-Bismol. As it coats, Pepto delivers powerful medicine directly to your stomach, right where you hurt. It's powerful relief. Pepto-Bismol.
It's real medicine for your stomach. Your period. In just one day, it can be big and small, light and heavy. But now, even when your flow is out of control, you're not. Introducing new Sure and Natural Ultra Thin Maxis. These extra thin pads are flow responsive. Delicate crystals absorb as needed from your lightest to heaviest flow. So, whatever your period, use new Sure and Natural Ultra Thins, the flow responsive Maxi. Period. The Miss Teen USA pageant will continue. This is CBS. Target back school tip number 14. Certain things should not be taken to class. But be sure to take things like 70 count notebooks for just 19 cents each. And two pocket fashion portfolios, two for one dollar. So before you go back to class, remember Target. Mazda Summer Savings Express. Get a Mazda 626 sedan. Get Mazda Value Pack Savings plus your choice of $1,000 cash back from Mazda or 5.9% financing through Mazda American Credit. Grab these savings while you can. <laughs> They're moving. The Mazda Summer Savings Express. Come test drive a new Mazda at Bob Pincus Mazda in Colorado Springs. When your entire family is brutally murdered... He murdered my sister, my nephew, and strangled her three-year-old granddaughter. How do you go on next, Sally? Weekdays at 9. We'll show you the latest damage from Hurricane Bob tonight at 10. You know, I seem to recall somewhere in my past that teenagers like to dance, and if you're around this pageant, you'll notice that nothing has changed. Put 51 girls together with a choreographer, give them some street hot miter shoes and a great Debbie Gibson song, and amazing things happen. Here they are, live on our stage with the reigning Miss Teen USA, Bridget Wilson, and some musical summer fun.
like I'll give you a minute to catch your breath. Well, your year is almost over, and um, it's in less than an hour, in fact. What are your What are your thoughts at the moment? Well, of course, I'm a little bit sad, but I have a lot of exciting things ahead, and I'm excited for another girl to experience a fun year. Good for you. Well, good luck. Thanks. Well, you're going to be a hard act to follow. Anyway, it looks like they're ready, so let's go back to the stage. You know, our winner tonight takes home a crown and a lot of happy memories, but there's even more. She'll receive cash and gifts worth more than $150,000. And now, with the assistance of our reigning Miss Teen USA, Bridget Wilson, let's see what awaits Miss Teen USA 1991. CoverGirl, the official cosmetics of the Miss Teen USA pageant, awards tonight's winner $5,000, plus a year's supply of sensational CoverGirl products. CoverGirl redefines the look of the 90s with a range of products as innovative as they are beautiful. CoverGirl, redefining beautiful. Fresh, clean, and youthful, it has to be Sassabee. She receives $5,000 plus this new breed of cosmetic and jewelry organizers from Sassabee. Designed from the inside out, the look is high energy, high tech, and high fashion. It's a Sassabee. A first-class Caribbean cruise for four aboard the Crown Monarch, Crown Cruise Line's newest ship. She'll visit the Cayman Islands, Key West, Jamaica, and Crown's private beach in Haiti. From the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising, she receives a one-year college scholarship in fashion design, fragrance marketing, or merchandising at the California campus of her choice, plus an exciting three-week study tour in Europe. From Noxzema, $5,000 plus a year's supply of Noxzema Skin Cream, the facial cleanser of the 90s. She'll use Noxzema Skin Cream instead of soap to clean deep down without overstripping like soap. Healthy skin is in from Noxzema. From Catalina Juniors, our winner receives $5,000 cash plus a $2,000 wardrobe of sportswear, activewear, and swimwear in all the latest styles and colors. Catalina, the official swimmer and activewear of the Miss Team USA pageant. From Hawaiian Tropic Sun Care Products, she receives a one-week vacation in Hawaii for two. Hawaiian Tropic world-class sun protection is available in over 85 countries around the world. Aloha from Hawaiian Tropic. From Minolta, she receives $6,000 cash and a master video camcorder, plus the incomparable Maxim 7X ISLR system, the world's most intelligent autofocus camera. Accept no limitations, only from the mind of Minolta. A year's supply of Paul Mitchell. Professional hair care doesn't stop when leaving the salon because Paul Mitchell keeps hair looking its best all the time with the help of hairdressers who select the right products. Paul Mitchell, your style demands it. The all-new Mercury Capri convertible, generously appointed with two plus two seating, driver's side airbag, power windows, and much more. Capri is fun to drive, easy to handle, a real value for the dollar. Mercury Capri, a stylish, affordable convertible for the young trendsetter. Frederico and Frederico Leone Shoes, the perfect footwear for Miss Teen USA with styling and flair to match the spirit and confidence of all of our contestants tonight. $5,000 and a supply of Precisely Right from Ogilvy, the home perm you just can't get wrong. Ogilvy Precisely Right is the official home perm of the Miss Teen USA pageant for the girl who's precisely right tonight. In addition to winning a stunning evening gown wardrobe of exclusively Sherry Hill Creations, our winner receives a gorgeous full-length natural black lemon mink coat and a mink jacket style for all occasions from the internationally famous Flemington Fur Company of Flemington, New Jersey. Thank you, Bridget. Wow, sure looks like Christmas in August for our winner tonight. Kelly, the last competition in the semifinals is coming up. Who should we watch for here in evening gowns? Well, the girls with dance backgrounds usually do very well. Mm -hmm. Miss North Dakota has been dancing for 13 years, and in fact, she owns her own dance studio. And Miss Louisiana and Miss Massachusetts have both been in pageants since they were 13 years old. And what about uh, Miss Georgia? She's a pageant veteran, too, isn't she? Right. She's held numerous titles, including Miss Georgia Peanut. Miss Georgia <laughs> Peanut. What if you get a year's supply or anything with that? All right, what about Miss Oklahoma? I heard something about she had a unique way of preparing for this event. Right. Um, she was worried about falling down the stairs in her evening gown. So she went to the state capitol along with her pageant directors and practiced walking down the stairs in high heels. I love it. Oh, well, I guess it worked because, remember, she placed first in the preliminary evening right. gown competition. All right. We hope you'll stay with us because you'll see all 51 contestants in their beautiful gowns. That's right after this. Surf was up, but not 
for little Annette, cause her diaper was leaky and wet. But Tychosaur Frog got a wave to shore. He saved the day, cause Huggies were on board. Huggies! Huggies diapers stop leaks like no other. Their leakage control shields help block leaks, and the unique inner layer helps lock them away. Now Frankie and Annette are feeling keen, cause the leaks are gone from the surfing scene. Huggies, happily ever after. My best friend and I went out last night with our brand new perms. Well, she had gone to the salon and spent way too much money. And I had gotten an Ogilvy home perm. People kept coming up to me and saying, Oh, your hair is gorgeous. Is it naturally curly? But nobody really said anything to her. The Precisely Right Home Perm by Ogilvy. It's got automatic shut-off timing. I couldn't have overdone it. I couldn't have underdone it. I couldn't get it wrong. I really, really made a right choice. I'm glad I didn't go with her to the salon. <laughs> This will sound familiar. You get your period, you have an accident, and you blame yourself, not your maxi. Too bad you and I can't buy maxi accident insurance. Or can we? Always with wings. Our unique dry weave top sheet forms wings that wrap around your panties to help stop stains better. Always stays cleaner and drier, even at the sides. At least now you don't have to learn about wings by accident. Always with wings. Cleaner, drier, better. So, how's it looking there? Really, sorry to hear that. I, I meant to, but I've I just been very busy. I, I've been brushing, but just not with the Tartar Control Crest. Tartar Control Crest helps stop tartar where it starts. It penetrates plaque before it hardens for easier cleanings. And more dentists recommend it. That was easy. You know, I've been using a Tartar Control Crest. The dentist's choice is the easy choice. Ever hear the stuff? Good evening, Dan Rather with a special update from CBS News. It's now early morning in Moscow, where Mikhail Gorbachev no longer rules the Kremlin. The harder liners who deposed Gorbachev are trying to impose their will nationwide. Ten army tanks and other units have come over to the side of Russia's Boris Yeltsin, who's leading the opposition in Moscow. The Soviet crisis brought President Bush back to the White House from Maine. He wants Gorbachev restored to power. The hurricane they call Bob is weakening now as it heads through New England into Canada. In Maine, the storm was still packing a punch, but its top winds fell to about 75 miles an hour. The hurricane is now blamed for at least one death in the U.S. Northeast. More about the hurricane and the Soviet coup on your late local news, and then right after that on a special CBS News program. That'll be right after your late local news. I'll see you then. Meet the boys of Winthrop Academy. Can you guess which one's the teacher? Teach. School begins this fall on CBS. While the uh, contestants are getting ready for the next competition, we'd like to take a moment to thank all the wonderful people who've shown such great southern hospitality to us during our second year on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And to honor them all, may I introduce you to the pageant chairperson, Elaine Love. <laughs> and the Honorable Lieutenant Governor Brad Dye. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our very special guest this evening, the reigning Miss USA, Kelly McCarty. And now, it's time for the most beautiful event of the evening. Here are our contestants to set the mood for the evening gong competition. Unforgettable. what you are unforgettable though near or far that's why darling it's incredible that someone so unforgettable
And now as our semifinalists wear gowns of their own choice, they're serenaded by the Mississippi Gulf Coast Teen Orchestra and Chorus. The beautiful medley of songs by the great Roy Orbis. Finalists in the 1991 Miss Teen USA Evening Gown competition, beginning with Miss New Hampshire. Dakota. Hands 
Missouri. Finals. Ladies, that was beautiful. Thank you. Twelve gorgeous girls in twelve beautiful and very sophisticated looking gowns. We want to turn to the monitor now and show you how the judges scored this competition tonight. You can see that Miss North Dakota is out in front followed by Miss Louisiana, who's continuing to compete very strongly, along with Miss Indiana tonight. And here's how the rest of our girls scored tonight in the evening gown competition. All right, right now, the scores from the three semifinal events are being added and averaged for composite scores. And when we come back, we'll find out who the six finalists are. That's right after this word from Cascade. trouble getting all your liquid dishwasher detergent out of the bottle? Relax. Now there's new Cascade Liquid Gel. It comes out of the bottle like it should. First time, every time. And because it's pre-dissolved, it rinses away to leave your dishes sparkling. Virtually spotless. New Cascade Liquid Gel. Okay, blanket. Blanket. Bunny. Bunny. Donut. Donut. Mm. What kind of an example is that? Oh. Yeah, come on, try these. Introducing Kellogg's Nutrigrain cereal bars. These new? Uh huh. New Kellogg's Nutrigrain bars have whole mm. grain goodness with real Thank fruit you. filling, no preservatives or cholesterol. Good, huh? Yeah. Okay. Kellogg's Nutrigrain bars can start your morning off right. Mm -mm. Coming. We got everything? <clears throat> Baby. New Kellogg's Nutrigrain bars. Warning, UV rays in ordinary daylight may contribute to lines, wrinkles, even skin cancer. Caution, your face is exposed to UV rays every day of your life. Oil of Olay introduces daily UV protectant, SPF 15 protection, because over time, unprotected skin can look like this. A moisturizer so like young skin's fluid, it penetrates instantly. Important for healthier, younger looking skin. Now, and years from now. New daily UV protectant. Most guys would tell you they don't really think about their hair. Right. Personally, I think most guys want their hair to look good, as long as it's not a hassle. That's where Perd Plus comes in. It's a unique shampoo and conditioner in one. So, you get clean, more manageable hair than with plain shampoo, but without any extra work. That's Perd Plus. Hey, I admit it. I think about my hair. But it's not all I think about. Wash and go with Perd Plus. Also in dandruff control. The scores will be ready in just a few moments, and we'll learn who the six finalists are. But first, we'd like to show you around this area a little bit. Here's the reigning Miss Teen USA, Bridget Wilson, to give us a personal tour of some of the highlights of the great state of Mississippi. Welcome to the Mississippi Gulf Coast, with 26 miles of sugar white sand where you can really have a ball. But Mississippi is so much more than beaches. It's southern hospitality, old world charm, and lots of history. So come on, let's take a trip into Mississippi's past. It's a short drive from the coast to historic Vicksburg, where the past and present merge into one. Welcome to Vicksburg. I had a gracious welcome from some of the proud citizens of Vicksburg at the old courthouse. 
Nestled along the Mississippi River, it offers visitors the opportunity to retrace one of the Civil War's decisive battles, the Battle of Vicksburg. Sunk by a Confederate mine, the Union gunboat, the Cairo, is a monument to this battle. It's a treat to stay at one of Vicksburg's authentically restored antebellum bed and breakfast. You almost have the feeling that Rhett Butler might walk in any minute. One of the most famous antebellum homes is the Beauvoir House. Located on the Mississippi coast, it was the last home of Confederate President Jefferson Davis. Ever since the 19th century, people from New Orleans have flocked to these beaches to get relief from the heat. Today, it's a year-round resort with something for everyone. The Gulf offers every water sport imaginable, from zooming around on a jet ski to sailing on an old-time schooner. Luxury cruise ships. And for a shorter cruise, history and nature buffs of all ages can take a trip to Gulf Island National Seashore, offering its pristine beaches and historic Fort Massachusetts, which played an important role in the Civil War. Land lovers can get into the swing of things at any one of the 16 courses on the Mississippi coast. Yes! Hey! And for the kid and all of this, there's the Marine Life Oceanarium with a chance to feed the dolphins. And at the Walter Anderson Museum, visitors can enjoy this famous native son's work celebrating life on the Gulf Coast. A word of warning for calorie counters, this is no place to diet. Mississippi has some of the finest southern cuisine. To die for. We've had just a taste of what the Mississippi Gulf Coast has to offer. But what I've enjoyed the most is the people with their southern hospitality. So come on, experience it for yourself. Bye, y'all. Thank you, Bridget. I can see why everybody we can see why we want to come back to Mississippi this year. Now, please welcome back our 12 semifinalists, ladies. We won't keep you in any expenses any longer here. We are about to learn who our six finalists will be. And if I may, please, Mark, have the results. Thank you, sir. Audience, uh, you have seen exactly what the judges have seen tonight. Let's see if you agree with their choices. These are the results. And once again, ladies, I'll announce them in random order. Okay? Good luck. Finalists are Miss North Dakota. <laughs> Miss Missouri. <laughs> Miss New Hampshire. Three candidates remain, one of whom is Miss North Carolina. From CBS News headquarters in New York, here is Dan Rather. Good evening. It is morning now in the Soviet Union. After a night of drama and tension, more drama and tension. Whatever opposition exists to the coup makers who deposed Mikhail Gorbachev, at least in Moscow, appears to be coalescing around Boris Yeltsin. The popular president of the Russian Republic spent the night inside the Russian parliament. Yeltsin's supporters spent the night outside that building. With a live report on what daylight has brought, is Jonathan Sanders in Moscow. Jonathan. Dan, I just took a walk in a small part of central Moscow where tanks and armored troop carriers were massing yesterday in preparations for moving into the city. At dawn today, there were mostly clear, clean streets. An occasional armored personnel carrier was visible. One man was patrolling an important government building with a submachine gun, and I understand elsewhere trolley buses were pulled up as roadblocks. But I saw nothing but quiet. Moscow ended its first night of the tense post-Gorbachev period 
with a small but encouraging victory for those standing against the hardliners' coup. A handful of Soviet army tanks defected to the democratic forces backing Boris Yeltsin's Russian government. Many Muscovites took to the streets during the day, literally opposing the army and special emergency committee that is trying to take over the capital. But so far, there has been no violence here. The two sides are sizing each other up. Sizing up just what's going on outside of Moscow in the vast Soviet hinterland is very difficult. We do know this, Dan, that in Leningrad, the second largest city of the Soviet Union, there are no troops on the streets. The television station that is controlled by the radical government there is still on the air. The mayor of the city is calling on people to disobey any orders from the special emergency committee that's taken over and to listen only to him and to Boris Yeltsin. Dan? Jonathan Sanders, thanks. It was 24 hours ago, night in the United States. And we'll have the latest on Hurricane Bob, which is now heading toward Canada, tonight at 10 on 11 News. We're back live on the Mississippi Gulf Coast, and we're going to increase the tension on another level here for our contestants. Uh, this is the judges' questions category, and in this bowl, we have the names of each of our judges. Each finalist in turn will draw a judge's name and respond to a question which that judge has prepared and will ask her personally. Each young lady has 20 seconds to complete her answer and as the judges vote to select the final three candidates, they'll also consider not only the answer but they'll be reminded by instant replay pictures of how each young lady looked earlier in the swimsuit and evening gown competition. The judges are ready, I'm sure, as these ladies are. Let's move on then to Miss North Dakota. If you'd come down, pull a question out of the bowl. Down to the final run here. This question comes from uh, judge number two, Christy Lynn Addis. Christy Lynn, would you give us your question, please? If you could speak with the U.S. Secretary of Education, what would you ask him to do in order to improve the education in America? Well, the first thing I would tell him is to really push getting involved in anything and everything possible that you can and to start making more programs for every different kind of child, whether it be the ethnic children and anything anything they can do that would really increase the enjoyment of school because it's cool to be smart. Thank you very much. Please wait for just a moment. Nikki's 10-year-old brother Jesse and 9-year-old sister Molly made her some earrings as a good luck charm and she has them backstage with her tonight. Okay, if you'll rejoin the others, and Miss Missouri, if you'll come over here and take a question out of the bowl. Dig in. And let's see, this question comes from judge number one, Steve Kometko. Steve, can we have your question, please? Certainly. There have been uh, several instances of censorship recently in the music industry, in movies, and in art. Do you believe that some material should be censored? Yes, I do, simply because a lot of times children aren't fortunate enough to have parents that can talk to them and communicate with them well and they can't have the proper guidance to really look at those lyrics and understand that they're the difference between right and wrong and that's unfortunate but it is the case sometimes so i think there should be censorship to protect those children righty thank you hold on for just a second please three of Audra's brothers are in the audience and if she wins they expect to go with her on the caribbean cruise that's part of the prize package she hadn't made any promises all right if you'll go back there please and we'll ask miss new hampshire to come forward and pick a question out of the bowl stir them up a little bit okay let's see this comes from judge number four tony bentley tony may we have your question please would you marry a man who wanted to stay home and take care of the children while you support the family? I think that would be nice. It would be a nice change because then it would give me an opportunity to pursue my career, but at the same time, let my husband be with our children and learn what it's like to be with the children all day. All right. Hold on a second, please. Janelle is armed with two good luck charms tonight, her teddy bear, Gonzo, and a little guardian angel given to her by a fan who asked for her autograph. Thank you very much. If you'd step back in Miss North Carolina, if you'd come forward. I've got some choices still left in here. 
All right, let's see. This comes from judge number three, Gerard Christopher. Gerard, please, may we have your question? Absolutely. Some cities with street crime problems have imposed a curfew on teenagers. How do you feel about that? I think that's very good. As my dad always said, there's nothing that you can't do after 12 o'clock that you can't do before. So my curfew is 1130. <laughs> but I think that's a really good idea because it's true. There is nothing that you, can, that you can't do at 12 that you could do before. So teenagers can start to come in a little earlier. All right, hold on a second, please. Holly has some 30 people here in the audience rooting for her tonight, but she said some of her high school friends, honestly, are also here just to hit the beach. All right, if you'd go back and join the others, Miss Louisiana, would you come forward, please? Got four questions left in here, and you can grab one of them, or maybe five, I guess they're there. This is from judge number six, Paul Ryan. Paul, may we have your question, please? Like all of us, you've grown up with television. How have your values been influenced by what you watch on TV? Well, I try to stay away from TV because um, I think uh, more people watch more TV nowadays and it's not really healthy. I think if they get out into the real world and read the newspaper, I think it'd be better. All right, fair enough. Hold on a second, please. Allison's mother once warned her not to get into a boy's car unless he opened the door for her. So a lot of guys just drove off and left her. Not anymore, I bet. Thank you very much. Would you step back? Miss Georgia, would you come up, please? We have one, two, three, four, four questions left. Grab one, closing your eyes. All right. This comes from judge number eight, Ben Rubin. Ben, may we have your question, please? Besides your family, who's influenced your thinking most and why? I would have to say the author, Norman Vincent Peale. He's the author of the book, The Power of Positive Thinking, and I've read it carefully each time I'm in any kind of competition or just throughout life. And it's really taught me to think positive and know that I can achieve anything in life. So I'd definitely say him. Thank you very much. Please wait here a moment. Meredith says she's a frequent flyer on the Dream Express with heartthrobs like Robert Redford and Patrick Swayze. Let's see if tonight's dream comes true. Okay, if you'd rejoin the others. And thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That completes the judges' questions for our six finalists. Oh, I think I would rather take a trigonometry final than have to go through that. Kelly, you're in the hot seat. Once again, let's put oh, you on the boy. spot, okay? Who do you think for the final three? Oh, I think Miss Missouri gave a great answer. She did do well. A lot of substance in that one. Um, Miss North Carolina is just a doll, and she really managed to work her charm into that question. The third, God, it's really up for grabs. <laughs> That's what makes it fun to watch. Those yeah. Episodes. What about you folks at home? Think you have it figured out? Stay with us. We'll reveal those final three candidates for Miss Teen USA 1991 right after this word from Secret. There's a remarkable antiperspirant that's made to handle just about anything today's active man can dish out. Because it's made with a powerful active ingredient, but this antiperspirant isn't made for him. It's made for her. You see, her perspiration pH can be significantly higher than a man's. And this antiperspirant is pH balanced to work with a woman's chemistry to help keep her dry. What is this? It's today's secret solid. It's strong enough for a man, but it's pH balanced for a woman. Today's secret. Shout Stick lets you pre-treat tough stains today. Throw my hands back and Shout them out next wash day. Kick my feet on it. Shout Stick starts working right away. It saturates tough stains, penetrates clean through to keep stains from setting in till you're ready to wash them out. You know it makes me want to shout. Come on now. Shout. Want a tough stain out? Shout, shout it out. Shout. You know, the toughest thing about this pageant is having to choose from among so many outstanding young women. We started with 51, we narrowed it to 12, then to 6, and now the judges have chosen the final three. This is the moment, and I'll read the names once again, ladies, in random order. One of these three will be the new Miss Teen USA. Miss Georgia. <laughs>
Miss Missouri. There are three finalists. Here's the only one left. Miss New Hampshire. One of these three will be the new Miss Teen USA. Okay, all right. Well, this is so exciting. One of your choices did make it into the finals. Yes, she did. You know, it's interesting. There was only one blonde, and she's in the finals, Miss Georgia. Right. From all of our, our Good six. Good for her. All right, we now come to the final question, which is really the last chance that these girls have to impress the judges. Right, and you won't be seeing the scores in this round, so see if you at home can choose the winner. All right, let's go now back to the stage. We'll see how they do. And now, the very last round of competition, the final question. Ladies, take a deep breath. We're going to ask you all the same question. You'll have 20 seconds to respond. Would you bring the isolation booth down, please? And we'll ask Miss Missouri and Miss New Hampshire if you'll step in there. And you and I are going to go down here and start the parade here. As soon as they're in there and listening to the music, uh, I'll get this question open. It'll be the same one for it. Would you hold this mic for me for a second? All right. In there, okay. Thank you very much. Everybody gets the same question, you have 20 seconds. What is the biggest problem facing teenagers today and what would you do as Miss Teen USA to help solve it? Personally, I think the biggest problem we face today is apathy. Just graduated from high school, I've seen a lot of my friends not go to college, not because they can't afford to, but because they just don't want to. And as Miss Teen USA, I would try to encourage my peers to turn our apathy into achievement. Thank you very, very much. Would you step over here, please? May we have the next candidate, please, Miss Missouri. Miss Missouri, we have 20 seconds. Everybody gets the same question. And the door's closed there, all right. What is the biggest problem facing teenagers today, and what would you do as Miss Teen USA to help solve it? I think the biggest problem that some teen teenagers have is being themselves. The problems that teens seem to run into, I think, are a result of not being confident in themselves, and they fall into different things that are harmful to them. Um, I can speak from experience, not that I got anything harmful, but I learned to be, ugh, I learned to be myself this past year. And I was more reserved when I was growing up. And I finally learned to just come out and be myself and do things that I wanted to do. And I feel really strong about my opinions, and I know that I'm secure in myself. And I could be a represent representative to tell other teens about that on a personal level. All right. Thank you very much. Would you step over here, please? And lastly, please, send out Miss New Hampshire. Miss New Hampshire, everybody gets the same question. Now is your turn. You'll have 20 seconds. What? is the biggest problem facing teenagers today and what would you do as Miss Teen USA to help solve it? I think that is peer pressure. Teens nowadays have a hard time being who they are and standing up for what they believe. They get swayed a lot of ways into different ideas and believing things that they don't really stand for. And I think that's hard for teens to deal with nowadays. And one way that we could help is possibly setting up um, peer counseling programs within the schools because we personally have one in our school and things work great from that. And I think that would be a great way to help the teens to be more confident in who they are. Thank you very much. If you join the other ladies over there. All right. Now. That was very nicely done, ladies, and uh, the judges will now make the big decision. This is the final vote. As each contestant steps forward, the judges will give each young lady a ranking, three, two, or one, as they vote for the second runner-up, the first runner-up, and the new Miss Teen USA. We'll begin with Miss Georgia. Now, this is Meredith's fifth pageant, but this final moment doesn't make it any easier. She knows Georgia has never had a winner in the Miss Teen USA pageant. <laughs> Miss Missouri. Audra says she's a lucky baby. She was born at the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, and she's got to wonder, will tonight be lucky for Missouri? Miss New Hampshire. Janelle's grandmother convinced her to enter her state pageant, and if she wins it, 
it will be a first for New Hampshire. This completes our competition. Ladies, thank you. Ooh, this is major pressure. Some very, very tense smiles out there. Someone's life is about to change forever. We'll see who she is right after this word from CoverGirl, the official cosmetic of the Miss Teen USA pageant. Ready, Christy? Ready. Just when you thought you'd taken your lashes as far as you could go. Wow. CoverGirl takes you farther. <laughs> Introducing new extension mascara. The Lash Extender Brush and Advanced Formula extend your lashes long, longer, beyond the limits, and keep them going long all day. A little further. Whoa, I can't go any further. New Extension Mascara. Now lashes that go on long, stay on long. Bye, Christy. So long. Cover Girl, redefining beautiful. Hold it right there. Save your empty softener bottle for the downy refill and cut down on trash. Just pour, add water and only throw away this. The Downey Refill. Less money, less waste. Bravely, Fred has faced one too many healthy but boring breakfasts. Enough! I want taste, indulgence. <whistles> Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats. A uh, Fred. Ooh, naughty frosting. Freddy, Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats are good for you. There's fiber. No. And no salt. But they taste so good. And they're fat-free, see? Fat-free? Ooh. Kellogg's mm -hmm. Frosted Mini Wheat. Surprise, they're good for you. You see it your way. I see it mine. of kids are just starting to learn about their own family ties. This fall, I've created a new series about a place that's very special to me. The place is called Childhood. Brooklyn Bridge, this fall on CBS. I hope you like it. And now from the beautiful Mississippi Gulf Coast, we're about to crown the new Miss Teen USA, and that means it's time to say farewell to the young woman from Oregon who's worn the crown for the past year. Ladies and gentlemen, for the last time as Miss Teen USA, here is Bridget Wilson. Last July, I realized a dream that to this day has proven to be one of the most rewarding accomplishments in my life. From the moment I was crowned, my year has been full of wonderful experiences. Being a celebrity volunteer at the Special Olympics and a national spokesperson for Mothers Against Drunk Driving, there were many appearances on TV and the fun of meeting people across the country. I had the thrill of singing the national anthem for the Trailblazers and sending season's greetings to our troops all over the world. I wanted to give a special thanks to my family for their continued support and to my hometown of Gold Beach, Georgia. Thank you for making my homecoming one of the highlights of my year. I represented our country with pride as Miss Team USA, and that's something I will continue to do for the rest of my life. Thank you, Bridget. Much good luck and success in your future. Now, this is the moment. We've tabulated the judges' rankings. We're ready to reveal the second and first runners-up and the new Miss Teen USA. The accounting firm of Ernst & Young has reviewed the results for accuracy. Mr. Paul Aaronzeller will give me the printout. Paul, thank you. Ladies, you are wonderful. Any one of you will be perfect. You know the judges could only pick one. We love all three of you. Good luck. The second runner-up is Miss Missouri.
Ladies, if you'll come forward here. We're about to reveal the name of the first runner-up and the new Miss Teen USA. Let me remind you of the importance of the first runner-up. If Miss Teen USA is unable to complete her reign for any reason, our runner-up will become Miss Teen USA. The first runner-up is Miss Georgia. Miss Teen USA is Miss New Hampshire, Janelle Bishop. Congratulations, Janelle, Miss New Hampshire. You are now the new Miss Teen USA 1991. You won the cash awards and the fabulous gifts worth more than $150,000. And now, as our entire cast serenades you, the stage is yours for the traditional walk as the new Miss Teen USA. Janelle Bishop, she's 17 years old, from Manchester, New Hampshire. Congratulations, Janelle. And Kelly Hu, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, ladies. Good to be with you. Good night. Good night. Portions of this program were recorded. The only thing harder than a killer's heart is a lying woman. Get ready to start sweating bullets later tonight on Prime Time after Prime Time. Thanks for watching CBS. Now get ready for your local news.